right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. We got to talk about it as we always do. Whenever an event has shattered my soul and gave me an absolute experience, that is the only time I make a video, correct? Basically, it's been a few times. I think you remember my my um, anniversary video where I said they just, they, they cooked. They cooked way too much. It was too much cooking. It was so much cooking. The, 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 the kitchen had to retire. That's what happened, right? Too much went on. That event was outstanding. Beyond that, I didn't really make a video for most of the events. Some of them are really great, right? Um, there, were, there were some many great ones since then, but um, definitely the cat one just caught me by surprise. <laughs> I told you, I saw the rain. I'm like, this event's gonna kill us all. It's about, it's about to shaft us in the, in the heart, bro. And it happened. It was a very depressing event. But Summer Part 2 has to go down as one of the best, one of the best events also. Definitely an absolute experience. Um, I, I'm telling you, the effort that goes in these events, I, I'm telling you, are definitely not seen as much. But just like with the other um, event with, with Dorothy, right, the entire anniversary event, so much went down, so many little Easter eggs. Continuously, the map changed. So many things went on. Um, and <laughs> at the very end of the event, um, definitely, you, you can see the water power changing to firepower. And Anise is just firing out some fireworks. Uh, only if she could do that in-game, but... I mean, very, very well done event. And today I thought I'd talk about it real quick. And I recommend if you if you haven't already played the event, go play the event. Have a blast with it. Read it. And I'm telling you, they did listen. That we asked, like, please, you did a, a voiced event, a fully voiced event with the half anniversary. Please just make this story fully voiced. And they did it. They, they made a fully voiced event that I, w I wasn't personally expecting yet. I did think they actually would fall through with that. Uh, moving forward, but they did it. They made a fully voiced event again. That is not an anniversary event. So we were like, oh, it's only going to happen like one time a year, which is like, you know, boring and whatnot. But definitely music, uh, bosses, they, they, the Kraken, whatever you might say, the Kraken is a very well designed boss and the quality is there. Every time the music kicks up in this event, I am just having a blast. The barbecue minigame also, everything about this minigame is actually fun too. Um, they cook, bro. With everything, I, I highly recommend you play through the story and have a blast with it. I am telling you that this this caught me by surprise. Um, because the first story wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad story by any means, no. But it wasn't, like, you know, groundbreaking really cool. But part two, when, when this event kicked up, I'm telling you this is what they wanted the event to be. This this was the original plan, and they cooked, dude. Kraken, the, the, the whole uh, part, I'll, I'll play it on screen. It's, again, spoilers for the story. But by now, you have to have played it. Hard mode just unlocked. If you're not playing it, you're missing out on rewards now. So I'm, I'm guaranteeing you played it. So again, if you don't want spoilers, just pour it up a little bit. But definitely speaking, uh, the Aegis Cannon, right? That entire part where it charged up on his own. I'm like, let's go, dude. Because uh, they kept mentioning like the, the fourth person of the crew of the entire Aegis team is is the ship itself, right? That, the Admirer. Like, the entire point of that was, you know, the Admirer is the fourth crew member. And then it charged up on its own. I was like, I was getting so hyped, okay? Um, the, the beginning part to like the final arc of it, uh, where we had Helm in the water and then she's like, all hope is lost. And you see the lights charging up from the Aegis Cannon showing up. Dude, so, or the, yeah, you know what I mean, the, the Admire showing up, right? But, um, the fourth crew member, all of it, very, very well done event. Um, giving more of an expansion to what Helm is as a character and entire crew. And then giving an expansion from straight off of like... If, if you were to consider it, it's like a three-part event. Gave you the backstory of both Anchor and Mast. Gave you before that the entire story of part one with the introduction of the crew. Then gave us the entire story of Helm and Anise and everything beyond that also. So it's like they had a three-part event running here where you had See You Again. You had the entire thing with Mast. You had the entire thing with uh, initial, uh, what is it, Neon and, and Mary. All of that connected so well and ended off to be a very spectacular event. So I got to say... For whoever, whatever they're doing, they, they said that, oh, we've been taking more effort into writing the story, so don't you worry, we'll try not to have any of those bad stories happen again. And they've done it. Since then, I've we've gotten a lot of great stories. Um, I didn't personally make a video for the mask one. I felt like it was a great story, just they didn't need a video for it. Um, I made it one for the cat one because it broke our soul. <laughs> that one hurt. That one hurt. Um, and then since then, it was like Dorothy's. Uh, there were some great events in the middle that I just didn't, I didn't really talk about. Um, I wasn't a fan of the, all right, listen, listen, hot take, hot take, get the, get the comments ready, get the comments ready, I did not like, I did not like the, um, the bunny story, I, it wasn't like that great, it was like a very weird event, I, <laughs> I don't know, I like, like uh, the, the, the aspects of fan service, if you will, were, were abundant, but beyond that, not really, I wasn't rocking with it, I was like, eh, you know, uh, that's like a story that I forget most of it too, but again, this is my opinion. Keep that in mind. I feel like there were great stories. I wasn't a fan of the Bunny Squad uh, story that much. Definitely was more of a snoozer for me. But again, that, that's beside the point. But overall, very well done event. And I can actually show you this here. Let, let me see if I can get this going. 
Let me let me hop over there. Okay, fight me in the comments. Fight me in the comments. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. Fight me in the comments. I will I will die on this uh, on this hill. SSS plus tier. April Fool's Day. Greatest event, bro. Okay. Summer part two. And then this. Okay. I haven't really organized the other ones, right? <laughs> There's a Chainsaw Man tier. Oh my god. Yeah, it's about right. Chainsaw Man was a yikes of an event. Yeah, Chainsaw Man was not good, dude. That that had a lot of issues. That that event was like so boring. Like the storyline, no like abilities to like contact the characters, talk, like have a little bit of connections. The funny lines never really kicked up. I'm not a fan of that event, but definitely uh I, I think these are top three. I also think that this cat event was S tier. Very much shot me in the gut right there. Um no caller ID was so bad, dude. There's so many. Why there's so many tiers here, bro? We do not need that many tiers. Uh, we'll just we'll just remove it. It's either S tier or um, A tier, and then just go straight to F tier. I don't know. I, I am not a fan of no caller ID. Uh, if I were to do this properly, I need to like sit down. I can do this for a stream. This is what I'm gonna do for a stream. Uh, when the next anniversary kicks up, we'll have like a blast on that stream. Trust me now. Um, so I'll do like a full thing of a bunch of tier. Let's people ask me a bunch of tier list, right? Um, the famous asset tier list. Can't wait for that one. It's gonna be a blast. But definitely, I think Golden Ship was great. Part 1 was great. Um, this wasn't a bad event. Made event was pretty cool. It was, like, it was like a slow event. Oh, Miracle Snow! How dare I forget? Oh, where does Miracle Snow end up? Oh, nah, Miracle Snow. So, I still think Dorothy's is the best update. Simply put, Dorothy, this was the best storyline ever. But Miracle Snow? Nah, dude. I was, I was baffled. This was the first event in the game that made me, like, jaw drop. I was like, I literally... By the way, I did this. <laughs> I paid for the resets uh, or, or more stamina to finish this event faster because I needed to know what happened. Uh, I was the first event, and I'm free to play, right? So I say I never do that because I don't want to, like, you know, waste gems. Gems are, like, the currency you need. And I bought, like, three resets to make sure I could finish the event right away because I needed to know what happened. I needed to know. And that, that was this event. Outstanding event, bro. So I don't know which is better, though. It, it, it's, like, it's, it's, see, April Fool's Day was just a blast. Just, like, pure fun, pure joy, pure laughing, pure smiling. That's what this event was. This broke my soul and was just very well written. So I think that they're on par. I'm sorry, they're on par. I love this event. This event is very well done also. I think that they cooked. They definitely cooked. Being fully voiced, being whatnot. And I think that this event would be better if it was fully voiced. I think that this event has so much potential to be the best event. It's just the impact wasn't as much as it could have been. If it was fully voiced, I am telling you that it would have been a killing. It would, it would have been one of the best events of the game. No, 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 that. It really is the best event, but... It would have been so much better than it was, correct? It's just we got spoiled with two fully voiced events here that we really didn't, like, kind of look past anything else. We just we heard the voice. We're like, oh, now the impact is much deeper and everything. And all the changes, all the stuff they did here, all the stuff they did here, if Miracle Snow was to be one of those voiced events, I think that it would be one of the great... I, I think it would be the greatest event in the game, right? I think so. It, it had so much potential, um, but it's still SSS Plus, regardless of anything. Very well done event. And again, if I were to do a proper tier list, you'll see it. But, um... They cooked with this entire summer update, everything about it. I'm putting everything together on just update and everything. I think that these are the best updates. Definitely. Just just being like that, best updates, dude. So I, I highly recommend if you haven't played the event, go play the event. Go have a blast with it. People say Nick A is just, again, assets. No, bro. The storyline is great. When that when when it, when the admirer showed up, I'm like instant SSS plus tier, dude. I was crazy. It charged up on his own. Everything was like that. The entire thing of annihilating the Kraken. Oh my homies hit the Kraken, right? But they cooked. They cooked. Absolute W. Greatest event in a little bit. Um, we, we've had, we've been having some great events. I really did like this one too. It wasn't that bad, but again, we'll, we'll do a proper tier list soon. Let me know if you want that. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and let me know if I'm wrong about this one, but. It was a great event, bro. It was.